Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabitu fillah It's imperative that you strive your best to guard your salafiyyah Meaning guarding your practice and your understanding of Kitabillah wa Sunnatul Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and some of the ways in which we can do this is first is we have to learn is ilm ilm al nafia the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahala lahu lahu tariqan ila al jannah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever traverses the path of knowledge Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah so this is one of the first steps that you must take in order to preserve your Salafiyya meaning that when you're being challenged when you're being threatened when you fear uh, shuck and you feel shuck you feel doubtfulness and you feel doubtfulness in your religion that knowledge is going to be one of those tools one of your greatest defenses the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ يُرِدَ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يُفَقُوا فِي الدِّينَ Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. So this is a sign that Allah wants good for a person when He gives them, subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, understanding of their religion. And this is going to help you maintain your understanding of Salafiyya and to help you deal with the doubtfulness that people try to bring. Those people who attack Salafiyya, those people who misrepresent Salafiyya, those people who attack their brothers and sisters without the right to do so or or in uh, who don't know how to uh, cooperate with their brothers and sisters upon Kitabillah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to the Fahim of the Salaf of the Ummah. So those are the ways to deal with those various challenges that we face. One of the other ways in which to preserve one's uh, Salafiyyah is that a person avoids the shubahat, that you avoid doubtful things, meaning you don't go to just every website. You don't go searching the internet on Sheikh Google to find every issue, but rather you stick with those students of knowledge that you know uh, that are known for righteousness and known for adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So be careful who you take your knowledge from. Be careful what you read because many people they don't have much knowledge and then they read and look for answers all over the internet and it causes them to mis be misguided and to have doubtfulness. Another way to protect one's Salafiyyah is to avoid speaking without knowledge and engaging in debates. So do not rush to get into arguments and rush to get into debates when we know that the Salaf found this madhmum. This was something that the Salaf of this Ummah, the pious predecessors, that they rejected and they thought was sinful, the person who gets into debates about the religion. So don't, so avoid it, especially if you don't have the tools to dispel the shubahat, the doubtfulness that someone may bring. Because sometimes you may be on the haq, but they are a, better in argumentation. And sometimes you may know the haq, or you may be mistaken in an issue, because you don't have enough knowledge to discern truth from falsehood and this can also cause you to go astray so beware of debating and arguing another way to defend one Salafiyya is find trustworthy companions and persons to benefit from and stick with them and those people who you benefit from and who are helpful. So husna suhba, having righteous companions. As the Prophet wasallam said, that a person is upon the religion of his companions. So if you take righteous companions, then with this righteous company, you are in a righteous environment. And likewise, or the opposite, the opposite is if you have people around you who do not call you to khair. They only have gatherings of backbiting. All you hear about is the latest statement about who's off it and who's on it. Or all you hear from them is they speak about the honor of others and they curse others and they reject uh, good 
then you will have no good from this. Or you sit with those people who are just Ahlul Fujur, those people who just have nothing but sinfulness. They indulge in the Muharramat and they encourage you to do the Muharramat. So if you stick in those kind of gatherings, then of course your end result will be misguidance. And may Allah protect us from that. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Another way to defend your Salafiyya is do not to uh, blind follow. Do not to asab. Do not get uh, just take the opinions of one sheikh always and blindly follow it. Meaning you don't know his evidence. You don't know uh, anything, but you only say, well, sheikh so-and-so said it, it must be the haq. That's not the case. Uh, no, The haq is not with anyone all the time. And the Salaf used to say, la yu'raf al haq bi rijal walakin yu'raf يعرف الرجال بالحق أو كما قيل that the Salaf used to say that the truth is not known by men but rather men are known by the truth meaning the mizan the, the scale is the truth not uh, the man so we don't say Sheikh so and so said Sheikh so and so said and that's the end of the story especially if you have knowledge to be able to research into an issue to research where the truth lies then you cannot just sit and sit back and just blindly follow every opinion even if it's from one of our esteemed ulama and we may love them May Allah bless all of them, I mean. So don't get caught up in blind following. And that means to follow people without evidence. Likewise, Ahabatifillah, do not and beware of surfing for fatawa, meaning cut and paste. I refer to them as cut and paste Muslims, meaning that they go to every web page, they take a little bit of this, they take a little bit of this, whichever fatwa goes with their desires, and this is an inclination that we can fall into. So we have to uh, remind ourselves to not get into to say, well, hey, there's a difference of opinion, I'm going to take this opinion because it goes with my desires. But rather, we should, if we have the ability to, we should strive to use the haq as our mizan and the strongest evidence. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm al-nafi rizqan tayyib wa ilm al and bless us with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam